Hey, I'm Chris Zeff from Make Everything, and today we're here in my metal shop, and I'm gonna share with you some of my favorite tools, all under $50, that will greatly help you and improve your workflow when you're doing welding and metalworking projects. Check it out. So I do a lot of custom fabricating here in the shop, and every project's a little bit different. So I don't usually have an opportunity to make jigs or anything that gives me sort of repetitive accuracy because I usually make one or two of something and then I move on to the next thing. When there is an opportunity to, you know, make a jig, it's great when you're building table legs or, you know, furniture to kind of get it set, do it, uh, do that organizational work at the beginning of a job and utilize it throughout. But when you're prototyping things or making sort of furniture as you design it, there are a couple of little products that really, really will help you and they won't break the bank. One of the things that I stress here is that, you know, while I do have a big shop with a lot of equipment, I really try to be cautious with the money that I spend and I try to always make sure that I'm getting a good deal. So I'm going to show you five products, five or six products. They're all under $50 and they will absolutely help you get better results on your welding project. Before we get started on this video, I want to thank today's sponsor, which is Skillshare. Skillshare is an online learning community where millions of people come together to further their creative journey. Skillshare has an amazing library of classes and courses on a huge variety of topics. Um, I consider myself a lifelong learner. Part of the reason why I'm here in the shop is so that I can learn different processes and then help them further my journey in you know, building all the things that come up in my head. Now, one of the things that has been coming up more recently for me is I got a couple of new CNC machines. I got a new CNC plasma table and a new CNC router. And, and in order for me to really utilize both of those to their full extent, I need to get better at using programs like Illustrator and do more graphic design style stuff. So I've been taking classes on Skillshare in Illustrator and other uh, vector-based graphic design software and it's been a huge help for me and it's really gonna help me push the utilization of those machines to the next level. Because the Skillshare platform is geared specifically towards learning, there's no ads or anything in any of the videos. And what's so nice is that you can kind of take them at your own pace. They're usually pretty short. Um, some of them have a project involved with them. And it's really just a great way to learn a new skill. So I really encourage you to check out Skillshare and some of the classes that they have to offer. The first thousand people that click the link in the description of this video will get a free two-month trial for a premium membership on Skillshare. And you can explore some of the classes and see what they have to offer. I really think that you'll enjoy this stuff. And I think that if you enjoy making things and you enjoy learning about how to make things, you will also enjoy learning through some new processes on their platform. So check it out. Thanks, Skillshare. All right, so let's talk about what I've got on the table here. Come on in. All right, so the first thing I wanna talk about is marking metal and marking steel. So if you're like me, you're always grabbing for like a Sharpie or just a regular pencil to mark your material. Now. Sharpies can be great, but the problem is if this material is greasy in any way, you'll find that the Sharpie won't really draw on it and then eventually that grease and oil that's you know naturally in metal that comes from a mill will clog up the tip of the Sharpie and then these things just stop working. The other thing is that when you paint over this, if you paint over this with a light color, a lot of times that Sharpie will actually bleed through. A regular pencil can be great, but if the lighting that hits it is weird, sometimes you can't see that mark at all. So my friend Steve turned me on to these. These are Silver Streak pencils and you can buy these. Um, you can buy the, the carrier and the lead separately and it's actually a little bit cheaper. It winds up to be about 11 or $12. This is essentially a mechanical pencil that uses a silver lead. Now the lead is really soft so it's really easy to sharpen without having to go take out a knife or anything. So you load that, you load the lead into the pencil and then you'll see this stuff is way easier to see and mark when you're marking on steel. Now I'm not sure how well the camera's picking that up, but the comparison between the silver lead and just using a regular pencil is really clear. Um, it's a nice fine line, and what's nice about it too is that it doesn't come off as easily as Sharpie does. I'll bring you in close so you can see the difference. There you've got Sharpie, Silver Streak, and then you can maybe just see the line and the squiggly that I drew with the regular pencil. And on here, you can see the Silver Streak, how it comes up. Now this is a lot cleaner material, so it's hard to really mark it with anything, 
but the Silver Streak works great for that. And like I said, since the lead is soft, you can pretty easily sharpen it by basically just abrading it against a piece of steel. These things are awesome for marking up metal. So now that you're working on your project and you've got it marked up, another thing that I really have enjoyed using is these little magnetic V-pads. These are pretty cheap. Um, they're about 20 something dollars on Amazon. You get this little assortment. You get big ones and small ones. This is obviously a brand new pack, but I've got ones that I use in projects all the time. Now these have amazing applications. You can um, hold material even just in place on your table. You can hold round material. I'll pop these out of the package and I'll show you some methods that you can use these. And for, you know, a 20 something dollar item to get four of these, you'll find tons of different uses for these. Check it out. Now, speaking of magnets, this is what's called a grasshopper. Um, this is also made by Stronghand, and it's got these big pad magnets on the bottom. And I'll show you what this is for. So this has a spring-loaded presser foot right here, and it's kind of similar to what would be called a welder's third hand. You've probably seen these around. My friend from House of Chop makes a really, really great one, and I'm going to throw a link to his in the description of this video. So you put this thing on your piece of material, and let's say you wanted to weld this down in a strange orientation like that, we could actually use this to press it down into place. Now this is a round piece of material. It's kind of a hard thing to clamp, but just by using that spring pressure, I could come in here and tack this thing down exactly where it needs to be. Again, these things have a ton of great applications. They can grab round material like that. Um, you can pivot this in a bunch of different ways. And something like this can just kind of save you time when you're building a project and you need to fixture on a strange piece of, you know, tab um, or another piece of material. Now when you're welding on uh, a flat surface without any fixturing holes like I use, um, getting corners square can be really difficult, especially with welding. It's not like woodworking where when you clamp something square, it stays square. So corner jigs can be really, really helpful for that. Now these are really inexpensive corner jigs that I bought on Amazon just basically because I wanted to see what they were all about. They're eighth inch material. They look like they were bent on a press brake. They've got some holes in them. And overall, I mean, they're not super impressive, but I think they'll get the job done. My favorite corner jigs are these from my friend Brandon at Ollie Iron. Um, these are $50 for the pair. They're made out of cold rolled, laser cut, quarter inch plate. And what's great about these is they're thin enough that you can get a clamp on them and clamp 90 degree things. And what's nice is that they're all quarter inch. You can actually raise things up off your table if your table isn't perfectly flat. Now, like I said, these are a much less expensive version, and I'll show you how these work to make a square frame. So using these inexpensive squares, I was actually able to get a really nice corner out of this. Um, again, this is using a framing square. It's not, I wouldn't say it's perfect. It's probably out by a 64th of an inch. But, you know, considering these things are really inexpensive, that's not bad. And you can see what I was doing. I was supporting the two floating corners with these other two clamps, uh, with other, these other two jigs. And what's nice about these little things is there's a hole right there in the center. So I was able to actually put a third point of weld right in there. These are, I guess, chrome plated. So it didn't really seem like the weld spatter was gonna stick to these, which was great. Not bad. 
You still want one of these though. So while we're talking about corner jigs, let's talk about these. These are from Jason at Fireball Tool. These are cast iron. They're uh, some sort of coating on them. These are a fantastic jigging tool. Um, these can sit up on these little thumb screws. You can get these up off the table. Um, they are perfectly square. You can fixture them down to the table. There's room in there to grab clamps. These are obviously uh, more expensive than these, you know, inexpensive, you know, either, even the laser cut ones, but these are a real high quality tool. I'm going to throw a link to Jason's website in the description as well. Um, and you can check out the fireball tools, tool squares and jigs. The other thing that Jason offers, and I know you guys see this on my channel all the time, is I use ferret abrasives, and I'll get a lot of messages about where you can go out and buy some of the ferret flap discs. Jason at Fireball is a dealer of ferret stuff, so you can check out his website and get some ferret stuff as well. So speaking of jigs and getting material into place, this is a little bit uh, more of an abstract welding accessory that I've come to really like using. These are called one, two, three blocks. Now these are a precision ground hardened block. They are one inch in this direction, two inches in this direction, and three inches in that direction. They are perfect one by two by three. Now these would normally be used for machining purposes and you know uh, all the machinists out there watching this video are going to feel that it's blasphemy to use these in a welding shop, but these are inexpensive. These are $17 for a pair. You know, these aren't super high quality. They're not brown and sharp or Starrett brand. Um, but for a welding application, if you need spacers, these are a really great way to space out material. If I needed to make, you know, um, a crossbar on the base of a table and I wanted to make sure that that crossbar was three inches off the ground in all the spaces, I have a perfect three inch space right here by using four of these. I could go down to two inches, I could go down to one inch, just like that. They also have threaded holes that you can thread three eighths inch bolts into, and then you can use these to clamp together, clamp onto things, you can jig up corners with these, um, and since they're so inexpensive and they're perfect, there's really no reason to use stock shims when you could buy something that you know is going to be guaranteed at the correct height. Um, I use these all the time when I'm making furniture for spacers, for crossbars, and things like that in a variety of applications. Um, you can stack them up to get reliable heights. You know, if you need to guarantee that something is a certain height, you know, you can do, you know, six plus three. I know this is going to be exactly nine inches, stuff like that. So you got to kind of think outside the box on these type of things and understand that you can use, you know, a machinist tool like this to jig up metal fixtures when you're welding and it could save you a ton of time. And for $35, you've got four of these and can get a lot of work done. Another great little budget combo is this Swanson Speed Square and Combination Square. Um, again, this is really a woodworking tool. You know, a Speed Square is something that you'd see a carpenter using on a framing job, but these are really, really great for measuring, checking offsets, and doing metal work. And this little kit's like 17 bucks or so on Amazon. Um, I think I paid 11 for it because it was on sale, but something that's absolutely worth keeping within arm's reach on your welding table. What a lot of guys do is they'll round off this corner. So if you can imagine when you're dealing with metal, a lot of times you've got a rounded internal corner. So this won't actually sit in there. So I always keep one of these around with a clipped corner and one of them with a square corner so that I can easily do offsets with a square edge and also keep one for measuring the inside when I have a piece of angle or a piece of rounded material where there's a weld in the way. Another really simple welding accessory that a lot of people I ask me about and have never seen before are these torch holders. Um, so this one will hold a TIG torch or a MIG torch. Um, this one's really just made for a MIG torch, but you know, this Lincoln uh, torch has a hook on it. But normally when I'm trying to work, I want this thing at the ready. So being able to throw it in a magnetic torch holder like this, this one I keep on my TIG table is great. And these things, you know, they don't really ever want to stay on the table. So this will just keep it from getting damaged, keep it from hitting the ground. Uh, these are very inexpensive and they're worth it just to protect the investment in your welding torch. All right, and the last welding accessory I'm going to talk about is these. These are 
Vice Grips, essentially. Uh, Vice Grip is really the name of a brand, but they are locking pliers. Now these are kind of specific to the welding and metalworking trade, but you'll see people use these on a variety of different things. These have these flexible pads here that these can move around. Now, a lot of different brands make these. Um, I have these really nice ones from Armor Tool that are self-adjusting. You tighten this down here and it adjusts the clamping pressure that you get. So when you're grabbing a piece of material, you have to actually set these to the thickness of the material, obviously, and clamp these down to make sure you get a good grab. These Armor Tool ones, you don't have to adjust. They self-adjust to the thickness of the material and you can just clamp them in. Anyway, these Armor Tool clamps are a little expensive considering that I got these 10 and they are not high quality at all, but they will get the job done. 10 of these for $51 on Amazon. That is a great deal, especially because you really can never have enough clamps. These things hang up really easily. All you really need is a bar hanging from the bottom of a workbench and these will hang on them. I keep them at arm's reach at all times and I can jig up material, clamp things and force things into place. So these are about $5 each, absolutely worth it. All right, that about does it for this little video. Um, I get a lot of questions about efficiency in the metal shop. Um, little things like this, you know, investing a little bit into yourself and into your business when you're trying to make production metal work and do welding and stuff like that can really make a big difference. Now, you know, just as a, as a for instance, if I need to make frames or furniture and I don't have the proper jigging set up and that piece comes out out of square, it might not be accepted by the client. So if I spend a lot of time making something, I have to make sure that it's gonna be the thing that the client has asked for. So one of the projects I have coming up is I have to make a bar cabinet um, and I'm not actually responsible for the whole cabinet, I'm just responsible for the steel work. Now when I build that steel frame for the bar cabinet, if it's not accurate, when the woodworker goes to fill it in, it's gonna be a nightmare for him. So having these little things, um, you know, having these little specified offsets with the one, two, three blocks, or having even just enough clamps to make sure my material is not gonna move is really, really important. So invest a little bit back. Like I said, I always am trying to save money here in the shop. So I've made sure to select things that are definitely within people's budget. You know, you don't need to buy all this stuff at once, but if you go out and you know, you save up an extra 50 bucks, buy yourself 10 clamps or buy yourself some of these magnetic pads, some V blocks, you know, stuff like that. Uh, it's gonna make it's gonna make a difference and it's gonna make your life easier and it's gonna make your time that you're spending welding and working with metal that much more enjoyable. Thanks again to Skillshare for sponsoring this video. Don't forget to check out the link in the description to get that two months free premium membership and you can check out some of the classes. Even if it's just uh, to learn some principles of design to help your brain work when you're doing a fabricating or artistic project. Um, I always find that, you know, I'm not necessarily interested in something like logo design, but if I learn about logo design, it'll help me understand shapes and how they relate to one another, colors and how they relate to one another, and it'll just help me be better at designing things in my shop. Um, all these pursuits of knowledge, they're all helpful. You know, none of this information ever goes to waste. So check out Skillshare. Thank you again to them. If you're interested in following me on Instagram, check me out right here at Make Everything Shop. I post every day and I'm always doing something new in the shop. We just finished an insane build. We built this crazy ramp on the side of an Econoline van. And there's going to be a video coming out for that soon. I'm going to put a little teaser clip right here. <laughs> And that was an amazing project. So stay tuned for that. Subscribe to my channel for more videos like this, more videos here in the shop. Give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to check the description of this video for links on Amazon to all the products that I use. Check them out. Check out Jason on Fireball Tool. That's it. I will hopefully see you guys on the next video. Thanks.